Melt it down. Forge it in Hades fire for all I care. Yeah, let Dude. me just break out my mobile forge real quick. <laughs> I mean, do you have, you have like a you have a Samsung phone, right? You can just light that on fire, right? No, no, I don't. Th I don't got that model. You're right. I have the uh, the bullet deflector one. So Raptor Dylan losers bracket. This is bracket. This is losers finals. Losers finals. Raptor and Dill. This is a match we're used to seeing in uh, top eight over at Zeno. Zeno yeah. So Shout we to get Zeno, to see dude. it here. And we're going to be seeing more of the same we see out of these two playing constantly. They know each other's play styles back and forth. Two very patient players. Two players who are very prone to just go aggro when they need to. And just like that, out the gate, we get the, the happy slaps. Dill breaking that neutral slaps. where he needs to. Yeah, this is really going to come down to... Uh, I know Dill's going to get most of his startups with that banana right there. And Raptor's just going to throw eggs until he finds some sort of opening. Nice monkey flip right there to open up Raptor a bit. Setting up Dill enough time to get that banana out there again. You've seen a lot of Yoshi, uh, not a lot of Diddy Kongs, rather, decide how they want to use Banana. Dill just always has it on deck at all times when he can. He's very smart about it. He doesn't overuse it, though. He knows sometimes he can't always grab it, which is a really, really helpful tool. Yeah, unfortunately for him, it's one of those resources that if he can't really control it, then it's something he's got to worry about constantly because yeah. the players that take note of that are the ones who are able to utilize Banana to their advantage to cover space on their own, and Diddy doesn't really manage well against Banana. No. So it's one of those uh, resources you have to constantly keep themselves aware of. That being said, though, Dill's been having it unlocked for the most part. Excellent pivot right there. I saw Raptor before trying to employ that Nair. The forward smash is going to net him the first stock, but like I said, Raptor's just trying to catch the Banana. I've, I've seen him throw out a few Nairs that don't always hit, and it's, it's clear that he wants to use Dill's own item against him. And, and honestly, it's a Pretty decent strategy against uh, against Diddy Kong, but when it when it kind of takes the priority of like right there, Raptor clearly caught that, but he opened himself up to many aerials. If you make your game plan revolved around that one specific mechanic, Diddy has plenty of other things too. He, he's a pretty great character without banana. He's a fantastic character, and even at that, at some point you got to realize that Dill likes to put it out as bait, and you bite the bait too hard. You're stuck on that hook. Yeah. And Diddy Kong combos are not a hook that you want to be attached the to. The hooks me, boy. <laughs> Raptor just trying to force that platform position that Dill has taken. Oh, tries going for the read on his shield, but he's going to eat some fat damage by that forward smash right there. Yeah, Raptor looking a little antsy right now. Not really doing, uh, doing too many safe options. And everything he's putting out just looks like making him look like he's pressing buttons. Like a monkey. Except this. Oh, okay. See you, Dill. He out. He had the optimal landing on that, though. No explosion, no bounce, no nothing. He was just there, and he's back. Yep, jab to up smash right there. Dill, I think, leaning in to get that banana a little bit. Not DA, or maybe just DI that in. Regardless, Raptor read the DI off that jab very nicely. Yep, and everyone's uh, favorite fraudulent connection finally getting a uh, a stock off. <laughs> it might be too, a little too late, as 137% is already racked up on Raptor. Raptor gonna have to has obviously a huge mountain to climb here, but honestly, against a player like Dill who knows how to can hit those conversions, yeah, I why okay, I don't understand why he does that every time, but every time he finishes the game, he always blasts off. Yeah. And he, you saw how long he waited too. He wanted to make sure Raptor was dead before he decided to blast off. Is yeah. it just like a little ha ha? I'm out. It's a taunt. It's the Dill taunt. I'm gonna call it the Dill. No, because that, that's based off the Helper. Oh, oh, because Helper. And his rocket barrels. The helper. Oh, the helper is my favorite Legendary. Diddy technique. When you try to go under the stage with Diddy's rockets, it's hysterical. But uh, we don't got we don't got helper. We got nah, we got Dill. And Dill's up a game on Raptor right now. We got to see if Raptor's gonna make any adjustments here in losers finals, or else this could be a thirty and a handshake that Dill's been waiting for, so he can get his revenge on Cyberman. Yeah, I and mean, uh, as you saw earlier, I mean, Raptor was kind of basing most of his game around getting that banana out of there, because honestly, the banana has been an incredibly powerful tool to help Dill nail his combos, but it's also been helping Dill find his openings if Raptor catches it. Catching the banana leaves him open to several areas that Diddy can throw out, and Dill is always in Raptor's face. Dill never maintains, like, complete uh, positioning away, because why would he, you know? Pretty crazy. Percentage deficit continuing to build up on Raptor. He's not really able to get any strong hits in, and he, you can see he's getting a little antsy out there, a little shook that Dill can have a response to him, opting to roll back when he had the control of the situation. He's making these callouts quite nicely. Dill, Dill, is, Dill hasn't been getting knocked up in the air too much. That's the thing. You see Raptor up in the air. Okay, this is a definitely decent situation right there. Those barrels proving very dangerous to Dill. However, he gets back in there. 
Down tilt. No up smash, though. Excellent awareness on Dill knowing that he couldn't nail that. And pretty nice SDI by Raptor right there to get out of that up smash. Just falling out of those hits. I mean, that's what's going to happen when there's a good amount of rage built back behind Diddy Kong. And then especially if he's just sliding forward, he's not going to get those sweet hits that he needs. Yep. Back air right there. Not going to in the first stock just yet. I thought it was. Not Ooh. yet. These minor banana hits here and there really helping with not only just controlling the space around Dill, but also with helping get that damage and undeckable roll off uh, yep. animation. That's was it because of the, the tumble? Yeah, that yeah. tumble. Raptor was not able to... Uh, tumble. The tumble anything. becomes, what, after 100, is it? It's after 100%, after 100%. and there's a percentage chance of it occurring. All those little tiny nifty mechanics in the game that, you know, for, set up these unorthodox situations that you're not used to seeing really make the game that much sweeter. Now, offstage position. Raptor not getting that gimp that he wanted, but he now has Dill up in the air, and now he's in a lead trap situation. They're not coming out fast enough for Raptor, but now he's just going to sit on returning to ledge. He's got Dill in that prime percentage where it's time to get that kill, but he's got to move in for it fast. The back air right there. He's going to seal him that first stock finally after such deliberation, but Raptor sitting at 44% right now, and Dill didn't seem to be losing neutral too often. Secret there. I love that down tilt by Raptor to mitigate the banana. Dill is relying on the banana for most of his approaches, and it's, it's clearly, you know, paying dividends for him. I love the patience on Raptor's part here. Even though he's at a deficit, he's just not trying to overextend as much as he would. You saw earlier, he was just rushing in there multiple times. Now he's, you know, calm himself down. He's like, all right, dude, it's time to get serious. Like, stop rushing in. He's had to clock things back that way. He can try and bring this match back into his favor, or else Dill is going to run away with it. But we'd mentioned this earlier that even though Dill is such a patient player, he knows exactly what he needs to do once he has control of the momentum of a match. And Diddy Kong just hits like a truck, and he hits smart. Raptor has to try and match that accordingly, and if it means slowing down the gameplay in his favor, then that's what he has to do. And we've been seeing that done very well, but not, fast not quite. Yeah, yeah. Yoshi's bones making him heavy. F. He He's gonna survive that stock. He a thick boy, Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi, stupid thick. Retweet. Don't retweet that, please. Please don't retweet Yoshi being thick. Oh, be I mean, the times you see Raptor thrive the absolute most is when he lets the opponent come to him. He has his control so he can get his, his methodical movements out and reads. Oh boy, yep. And Not quite grab, yet, it's all right. Raptor saving his jump, utilizing that so he can get himself back in the game. Sitting at 154. Oh, he caught the, oh my gosh, he caught the banana. However, the quick up tilt from Diddy is going to come out. And once again, Dill is out. There he is. Ooh, <laughs> look at his face. He's like choking himself with the banana. <laughs> and me. <laughs> this is crazy. When the barrels are out too tight. It's pretty funny. Um, so, game three. What stage? What? If I were Diddy Kong, what would I... I well, those bands, I don't think, right? Oh, Lila, okay. Lila Cruz, all right. This is not a stage I'm too used to seeing from Raptor, I'm going to be honest. This is a bit of a gambit we don't see often from Raptor, but hopefully it pulls out in his favor. The short platforms certainly give him a lot of an opportunity to return to stage, and... They're going to make things a bit harder for him controlling space, but sort of the same applies for Diddy Kong. I kind of think this counter pick would assist Dill a tad more, just given how strong he's been playing the ground game. Um, I don't know how much those platforms are really going to assist Lap Raptor in the long run, given that he couldn't, given Diddy's fast falling nature and the fact that he wasn't winning too neutral, uh, neutral too often. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with it. Yeah, we'll see if it works out in his favor, though. Because it's still a bit early in the game yet, and right now... Uh, Oh, that forward smash almost knocking off Raptor stock right there. Raptor cannot find any answering options. I think actually the stage pick may have limited his landing options even more given the given the cruel nature of Lilat. So far he's had to worry about recovering high, and it's really just a matter of Dill putting hitboxes in his face, stuffing him out, then really limiting his options. It's just sort of getting met with those hitboxes. But if Raptor plays this safe, he can make very good use of all of this rage behind his attacks. And as you can see right there, Dill is sharking for that... Uh that either banana into imagination or the, the down tilt and top smash combo is definitely going to net him the stock now given how high percent Yoshi's in. Okay, we're going to see a forward throw. 
just to get him off stage and establish better stage position. I don't think any other throw really would have worked because it wouldn't have comboed into anything. He so got excellent it. awareness by Dill. He could have gotten himself back throw, but I like that he's saving it because Raptor's getting to that percentage right now where back throw could potentially become a kill throw. I think by the ledge is where Diddy obviously has to be from center stage. Back throw isn't going to kill too early. Yeah, it's not that potent of a kill throw. Yeah, no, I mean, it's the not. The percentages are building nonetheless. Excellent defensive play from Raptor. He's making sure that he's aware of anything oh, that... Oh, no. Is he going to have enough time? Of okay. course he does. Yeah. Lila, Lila, almost. Yeah, okay, now. Okay, so, oh, my God, the taunt to get himself back into it mentally. I love that. Yoshi chasing his tail like a cute little dino he is. Yeah, you know, Dill had to cash his, uh, his Diddy privilege in a little too early. Things are not really working out for him, but up you have throw. the up throw. Now he's not going to get anything off of that. I would like to see forward throw or back throw there, but I think it's just too high percentage. However, that up tilt is going to take him out. We're seeing ourselves on the last stock. Raptor, his tournament life is on the line here. Can he bring it back? We'll see. Yeah, we still got plenty of time. Banana having a bit of an odd interaction there. Raptor didn't really move into it. It moved into it. Was him. it the tilt of the, the stage, probably, I'd yes. say? Yeah. It interacts with items. Lilat's hilarious. It's a cheeky stage, but this I mean, we're here nonetheless. Stage. And percentage is sitting in favor of Dill. <laughs> the egg roll. Oh my god, he just got those little tiny... I didn't know that you can hit so consistently with it if you move slowly. Yeah, it's a very strange move that most people don't see because it's a move that's not utilized by many top uh, level Yoshis, but here we are. Raptor innovating wherever he can. I know Raptor used to hate it too, but now he's he's accepted it with open arms. Yeah, you've mentioned this earlier in the evening, but it's something he's been slowly integrating into his gameplay over the past few months, and we really see it come to shine on this stage just because its unique shaping allows Raptor to be able to get plenty of hits off, but more importantly, he gets them off safely. Notice that Dill wasn't able to have an answer for him as soon as he popped out of egg roll, like we typically say. It's actually fairly decently hard to punish if your opponent's just moving in such an unorthodox pattern. You know, Dill can't really get the read on it because it's not something he's seen before. However, percents are getting high again. Uh, if Raptor can s just hold on to his stock for a bit longer until he gets that one opening he needs, uh, he'll be able to clutch this out against Dill. Then we'll be moving on to a uh, game four. However, Dill is saying, I want to end it now. This would be quick 30. Want to defeat Cyberman, and I want to go get my Applebee's. Oh, can you get the catch? Oh, no. He shields oh. it and doesn't jab in the correct direction. Unfortunate. Yeah. The rocket barrel smoke screen. Yeah, it's smoke recovery. screen. Did he use smoke screen? Yo. <laughs> that was some next level tactics right there by Smash Brothers. Oh, he's got the opening now. Yeah, the tilting of Lilat doesn't really help Dill grab the ledge as easily as he's used to. Monkey Flip becomes a dangerous, dangerous tool now. Oh no. Oh boy. He yeah. tries sharking. He's got plenty of lift to be able to get himself back on stage, but. Back throw, not going to quite do it just yet. Did he? Did his arms not strong enough to propel him into the blast zone? Oh, if he gets the right idea here. And, and he the waits. patience is beautiful, and it's going to bring us into game four. That was incredibly clutch. Also, that was really weird where Yoshi you know, just glitched in and out of his shield. That was really creepy. Eh, it happens. <laughs> what is this game? Still very aggressively drinking into the camera. Dude, he's, he's, he shook his head. He's like, nah, I should have ended it there. But now that Dill has the advantage of being up two games to one is that you get to pick your stage now. Dill and Diddy has a very, very nice stage layout. I don't think there's a lot of stages he really loses on too much. Not particularly. Outside of Lyolat, he plays very well on all stages. However, Dill has to be careful about what he chooses because a lot of his comfort pick stages are stages that Raptor prefers, such as Smashville, which is where we're going to be seeing Game 4 go into. Now, if I recall correctly, they did start out on Smashville for, I think, the first two games? Something like that. I know they played on Smashville before, so it's very interesting to see Dill go back here. D DSR is active here, yes? Ah, no. You Sometimes. don't care? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, honestly. Sometimes, maybe. Like, I feel like half the time we recognize the recommended rule set. Other times we sort of just go by, like... F it. Basically. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, we're here now. Yep. This is where we want it to be. Now, are we going to see a reverse 3 over on a Raptor? I wonder. The momentum, he barely clutched that game out with that one nice read on Ra uh, Dill. Honestly, it's going to be very interesting to see where he takes it from here. Popping the balloon for good measure right there as he heads in. Grabbing the banana. I like how he's keeping his space. He's kind of dipping in and out a bit to get that banana safely and not open himself up to those aerial combos that he was getting hit by before. Oh, 
Crafter doing a fine job of just zoning Dill out with these egg throws, just making sure that, you know, he controls where Dill's approaching onto him from. He's not really making as good of usage of the banana as we saw earlier, and even though it's in his control, it's not really assisting him too much. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, the up air, just in time. I'm back for it. Yeah, uh, you're coming right back into it with Raptor taking the lead and only 80% on deck. Momentum has shifted quite nicely into Raptor's favor here as he's just, I think he's starting to figure out how to play the neutral accordingly. Oh, oh Lord, Jesus. And we got this nifty little combo coming out from Raptor, but he's not able to extend it with the re-landing for an up tilt. Luckily for him though, Dill not able to catch him out just yet. And he's just going to be eating a bit of that egg pressure still. As you said before, safely navigating around absolutely every option that Dill's thrown out. And it's really just helping him so much right now. He's at 127%, but Dill is getting his percent. Doing, oh, wow. The, the high egg roll? Yeah, he goes for a safe landing with it. And for the most part, it worked, but he didn't do anything else out of it. Dill reading yeah. accordingly and just throwing those hands where he needs. I wonder if he meant to throw that out. It's such, it's such a high area. I don't know how it would be as a landing option. It'd be a little, maybe a bit of a mix-up, but... Uh, He's done it before as a mix-up. That's cool. It's not the I greatest. I respect it. Not the greatest, obviously. But hey, sometimes you gotta try something new. Yeah, Dale's such patience right now with the banana, just waiting for Raptor's aerials to come through, and he's getting these nice little claps with the down tilt. And now he's just using Diddy, Diddy's amazing disjoint off that uh, forward air to really just net him that percent. Yeah, you see both these players utilizing a lot more forward air now just because it's one of their better spacing tools. Dill needs to try and keep Raptor at bay while still maintaining the pressure on him, which is where Fair really begins to shine as one of Diddy Kong's best aerials. It's just a matter of him being able to break through Raptor's wall right now, and the percentage deficit's making that a little bit more difficult as every stray hit from Raptor counts more and more. And also, um, great stuff right now by Dill, though. He's hanging in there despite the high percentage he has. And he's, he's chipping away at Raptor ever so slightly, getting him further and further into kill percent. However, all Raptor needs is just that one little one little hit. Raptor's punish game has been pretty immaculate this game. And it's, it's pretty interesting to see where it's going to go from here. Kind of just the stare down now. Trying to figure out who can get in first, who will throw out the first option, who will answer it. Raptor doing well just to respond wherever he can. Not able to get too much right now, but and he the gets call out. One with the hell of a call out. We even see the taunt again. The tip of the boot. The tip of the boot just hit him. A little bit. A little bitty tippy. Yoshi's actually got uh, metal toenails, believe it or not. Which game did you skip? Um, I think we skipped. Right, it was yeah, Raptor I think Raptor DK will. No, we didn't skip that. Well, no, when I was pressing record, because I had a stream uh, tech for a moment. I see, I see. Yeah, but just in between the little itty-bitty downtime, we have 7th place, both Dio and Suarez. 5th place, we have DK, Will, and Zone. This is uh, Jay lost for 4th place right there, as you saw. This will determine 3rd. So whoever loses this gets 3rd place. Wonder if this gets to go into Grand Finals face-off against the illustrious CyberFam69. I gotta talk to that man. Get a ring of those numbers. <laughs> this isn't the days of AOL. He don't need that no more. No one's gonna I steal know. his the Xbox numbers. gamer tag. Cyberman's fine, dude. Honestly, it's a staple, though. Honestly, I wonder the sixty-five comes from. Anyway, hopping into uh, back to Smashville, game five now. Raptor has the momentum in his uh, his arsenal. Really, just doing a great job of just whittling Dill down to the last. Like every game has just gone on to like just in a ma crazy amount of time. Like. This has been a very long set. Yeah, you know, both of these players, they're they are used to stuff like this. They're yeah, definitely. both veterans in the Smash community, but it's really going to show that a long set like this can really drive anyone to the edge. And Raptor showcasing that by, you know, extending this match, it's really making things look more realistic that he can get this reverse 3-0 over Dill. Yeah, I mean, he, he seems to have just adapted incredibly. He, oh... Okay, this is his chance to open up the punish. And his punish game, too, has just been great. He stopped fo hard focusing the banana as much and is just focused on controlling space with his aerial options like uh, fair and air. And it's honestly just it's paying such dividends. Yeah, you know, you mentioned how he's not really hard focusing the banana, but every time he's gotten the banana now, he's made something good with it. He's yeah. made sure to either 
make sure it's in his control, make sure it's away, or make sure that he utilizes it against Dill so that he can rack up further damage and extend combos where oh, he needs to. That would have been the cutest setup ever. He just tried to go out of a Z drop out of the, the egg thing to try to get that little... Because if you get hit in the air by it, it does do a, a baby amount of hit stun, and it can't set up Raptor for another hit. So that was, that was pretty creative. Yeah, you know, he's going for these options. He's got the time for it, and he's got the resources for it. He's constantly using this banana as his own. And so much as he's not biting the bait, he's just, you know, seeing where it takes him. And right now it's taking him to the top of Smashville. Yeah, the uh, down to up smash. Just powerful cover. Raptor firing back with that fair into up air. That's going to net his stock, too. We're seeing even stocks. Game five. <sighs> I feel the tension. Yeah, it's building up. Things heat up as we move into the end of this set. And no one really having breaking through wherever we're moving. Just very strong footsies game. The happy hands coming out. Still managing to get the first blood on it, but... Oh, no, but he's Raptor's off stage. However, he's going to make it back, and now he's time to set up for this fair. Not being able to act on the fair as much, given I think he hit the, the sour spot of that fair right there and allowed Dill to have enough time to just really answer back with an aerial of his own. These two are neck and neck right now. I, it's, both these characters are treating their characters like glass right now. They're just not approaching too viciously as they were before. Both of them understand the, the consequences that could come from losing this. Raptor sent at Super Saiyan percent, though. What's he going to do with it? This is the time. Right now, Dill doing a very good job of just building up this percentage very safely. He's not going for two extraneous of extensions in his combos, and he's making sure that he keeps Raptor at just that great distance where he doesn't have to worry too much about spacing him out, but as soon as Raptor breaks zone, Dill can just reposition himself. But here's a little bit of a crazy one. Uh, just, just like a nice... Hot Fudge Sunday. Dill keeps adding toppings onto this incredible way that he's playing neutral right now. As you can see, he's using Peanut Pop Gun now, which we have not seen the entire set. And it's added the combo extension in a way for him to, to zone Raptor out and also create openings. So really, just even in the heat thick of it, at the very end, Dill still having that you know creativity to add on that last option. It really speaks volumes about him as a player. Yeah, it's not an option we often see from him, but it is something that's seen out of a lot of other top-level Diddy Kongs where... The combination of having banana in hand followed by peanut pop gun helps zone out, but you don't need a zone if you've got those hands. Dill managing to sneak it out, coming that right in to take things back. Almost the reverse 3-0, but Dill at the very end being pushed to the absolute brink. Shows